Please don't be scared. All of us will stay right here. We will protect you. Rimuru Tempest had always known that slimes could reproduce asexually, but they had never considered what the possibility of reproducing asexually would mean. It wasn't until they had a one-night stand with Anos Voldigode, the Demon King, that they discovered that slimes could reproduce with anyone regardless of gender or species. At first, Rimuru didn't think much of it, assuming that nothing would come of their brief encounter. However, a few weeks later, they began to notice some unusual changes in Anos. He was more tired than usual, had a noticeable bump in his abdomen, and was experiencing bouts of nausea and mood swings. Concerned, Rimuru took Anos to see a doctor, who confirmed their suspicions, Anos was pregnant. Rimuru was shocked but also excited about the news. They had never imagined that they would have a child with the Demon King, let alone a slime baby. Anos, on the other hand, was initially angry and indignant at the news. As a Demon King, he was used to being in control and never thought he would be in a position of vulnerability. But as the reality of the situation sunk in, Anos realized that he had a responsibility to the child he had unwittingly helped create. He reluctantly agreed to work with Rimuru to prepare for the baby's arrival, though he made it clear that he would not be taking on any stereotypically feminine roles. Rimuru was both excited and nervous about becoming a parent. They threw themselves into learning everything they could about pregnancy and childbirth, reading books, attending classes, and seeking advice from experts. They also made sure to take good care of Anos, providing him with nutritious food, comfortable clothing, and plenty of rest. As the pregnancy progressed, Rimuru and Anos had to navigate their evolving relationship. They had started off as casual acquaintances, but now they were tied together by the life growing inside of Anos. They had to learn to trust each other and work together to ensure a healthy and safe pregnancy. Despite the challenges and uncertainties, Rimuru was grateful for the opportunity to become a parent and excited to meet their slime baby. Anos had always been proud and independent, but the physical toll of pregnancy was starting to wear on him. He had already dealt with the shock of discovering that he was pregnant with Rimuru's baby, and now he was experiencing intense morning sickness. The nausea and vomiting were so severe that Anos could hardly keep anything down. He had lost weight and was constantly fatigued. He tried to tough it out, but eventually, he realized that he needed help. Anos turned to his human parents for assistance. Despite being a demon king, Anos had a deep affection for his human parents, who had raised him and loved him unconditionally. His mother, in particular, had always been a source of comfort and support. When he arrived at his parents' home, Anos was in bad shape. He could barely stand, let alone speak. His mother took one look at him and knew exactly what was wrong. Morning sickness, huh, she said, teasingly. Looks like you're getting a taste of your own medicine, Anos. I remember when I was pregnant with you, you made me go through the same thing. Despite feeling embarrassed and vulnerable, Anos couldn't help but smile at his mother's words. He was grateful for her lighthearted teasing, which made him feel a little less alone. Anos' mother quickly got to work, preparing him a simple and nutritious meal that he could keep down. She also gave him some herbal remedies that she had used during her own pregnancies, which helped to ease his nausea and settle his stomach. Over the next few weeks, Anos continued to rely on his mother's guidance and support. She helped him to adjust his diet, get plenty of rest, and cope with the emotional challenges of pregnancy. Anos' father was also supportive, though he was less involved in the day-to-day -day care. Meanwhile Rimuru and Anos started to discuss names for their slime baby. They wanted something unique and meaningful, something that would reflect their unconventional relationship and the love they shared. After much discussion and debate, they settled on the name, Karma, a nod to the twists and turns of fate that had brought them together. As Anno's pregnancy progressed, he started to experience more severe mood swings. He would go from happy to angry to sad in a matter of minutes, leaving those around him confused and uncertain how to respond. Unfortunately, Anos' rival Zeps was often the victim of his emotional outbursts. Anos would snap at him for the slightest provocation, and even a simple comment or gesture would trigger a fiery response. Zeps was taken aback by Anos' behavior, as he had never seen the Demon King act this way before. He tried to be patient and understanding, knowing that Anos was going through a difficult time, but it was hard not to take the insults and taunts personally. Feeling guilty about his behavior towards Zeps, Anos sought advice from his human parents once again. This time, he asked them about how to deal with mood swings and emotional instability during pregnancy. 
His father chuckled at the question, recalling stories of how his wife had driven him crazy during her own pregnancies. He even showed Anos the scar from a particularly nasty scratch she had given him during one of her mood swings. Anos mother was more sympathetic, offering practical advice on how to cope with emotional turmoil. She suggested meditation, exercise, and journaling as ways to manage his feelings and gain perspective. Rimuru, who had been listening intently to the conversation, couldn't help but interject when Anos' father mentioned the scar. Please don't do that to me, Anos, he said, half-jokingly. I don't want a scar to remember this by. Anos rolled his eyes but couldn't help but smile at Rimuru's concern. Despite the challenges they faced, the two of them were determined to see this through together, with the support of their loved ones. As the pregnancy developed, Anos and Rimuru grew more and more excited to meet their slime baby, Karma. They had overcome many obstacles and faced many challenges, but they had done it together, as a team. As the weeks went by, Anos' bump grew larger and larger, making it increasingly difficult for him to move around and carry out his duties as the Demon King. He found himself outgrowing most of his clothes, with his shirts and pants becoming tighter and tighter with each passing day. Anos' balance was also thrown off by the weight of his bump, and he found himself stumbling and tripping more often than usual. He knew he needed to find a solution to his clothing and balance issues, and so he turned to his human parents once again for help. His mother couldn't help but tease him as he complained about his too tight shirts and pants. I told you not to eat too many sweets, Anos, she said with a chuckle. Now look at you, all round and bloated. Despite her teasing, Anos' mother was sympathetic to his predicament and offered to help him find clothes that would fit better and provide more support for his growing bump. She even showed him some of her old maternity clothes from when she was pregnant with him, which surprisingly still fit. Anos' father also offered some practical advice on how to improve his balance, suggesting exercises and stretches that could help strengthen his core and improve his posture. Rimuru, who had been watching from the sidelines, couldn't help but smile at the scene. He was amazed at how supportive and loving Anos' human parents were, and grateful for the help they had given them throughout the pregnancy. As Anos tried on his new, more comfortable clothes and practiced his balance exercises, he couldn't help but feel a sense of gratitude towards his parents and Rimuru. They had all come together to help him through this difficult time, and he knew he could count on them no matter what challenges lay ahead. And so, with a sense of determination and excitement, Anos looked forward to the day when he would finally meet his baby, Karma, and start their new life together as a family. But as Anos' due date approached, he found himself growing more anxious and nervous about the impending arrival of his baby. He knew he needed to find ways to relax and prepare himself both physically and mentally for the labor and delivery, and so he turned to his parents for help. His mother suggested they do pregnancy yoga together, which she had found to be incredibly helpful when she was pregnant with him. Anos was hesitant at first, but his mother assured him that it would help him stay calm and centered, and might even make the delivery process easier. So, Anos found himself on a yoga mat, surrounded by his parents, as they guided him through various poses and breathing exercises. At first, he struggled to keep up and felt awkward and clumsy, but as he relaxed into the practice, he found himself feeling more and more at ease. Anos' father even joined in on the yoga sessions, demonstrating that pregnancy yoga wasn't just for women. As they moved through the poses, Anos felt a sense of unity and connection with his family, and a growing sense of confidence in his ability to handle whatever challenges lay ahead. Meanwhile, Rimuru had been busy setting up the baby's room, painting the walls a soft shade of blue and assembling the crib and changing table. Anos would often join him in the room, helping to pick out baby clothes and toys, and imagining what life would be like once the baby arrived. As they worked together, Rimuru couldn't help but marvel at how far they had come since the day Anos had surprised him with the news of the pregnancy. He was excited to start this new chapter in their lives, and eager to be the best parent he could be. And so, with the support of his parents and the love of his partner, Anos felt more prepared than ever for the arrival of his baby. He knew there would be challenges and sleepless nights ahead, but he was ready to face them head-on, secure in the knowledge that he was surrounded by a loving and supportive family. Anos was nervous as he lay on the examination table, waiting for the ultrasound technician to begin the scan. Rimuru held his hand tightly, reassuring him with a gentle squeeze. As the technician moved the wand over Anos' belly, they both watched the screen eagerly, hoping to catch a glimpse of their baby. And then, to their surprise and delight, they saw two tiny, flickering heartbeats. Twins. Anos was having twins. The news was both exhilarating and overwhelming. 
They had only prepared for a single baby, so they would need to make some major adjustments. But they were thrilled at the prospect of having two children to love and cherish. After the ultrasound, Anos and Rimuru rushed home to start rearranging the nursery. They moved the crib and changing table to opposite corners of the room, and began brainstorming ways to make the space work for two babies. But they soon realized they needed more help than they could provide themselves. So, they turned to Anos' named parents for advice on how to prepare for twins. Anos' mother, having raised twins herself, was a wealth of knowledge and offered countless tips and suggestions. She even offered to help them pick out matching outfits for the babies. Feeling more prepared, Anos and Rimuru decided to celebrate the upcoming arrival of their twins with a baby shower. They invited all their friends and family, including Misha and Sasha. Anos and Rimuru spent weeks planning the perfect baby shower. They wanted to celebrate the arrival of their twins in style, and they knew that their friends and family would want to shower them with love and gifts. They chose a theme of soft pastels and fluffy clouds, decorating the party space with balloons, streamers, and fluffy white cotton balls. They even made a special photo booth area with a giant cloud backdrop and silly props, so guests could take pictures and create lasting memories. As the guests arrived, Anos and Rimuru greeted them with warm hugs and grateful smiles. They were overwhelmed with the outpouring of love and support from their friends and family. There were games, of course, including a diaper-changing relay race and a blindfolded baby food taste test. Anos and Rimuru laughed and cheered along with their guests, feeling grateful for the light-hearted moments of joy and fun. But the highlight of the party was the gift-giving. Anos and Rimuru sat together, unwrapping presents and ooing and aahing over each one. They received so many beautiful and thoughtful gifts, from soft blankets and plush toys to practical baby gear and adorable outfits. And then, as the party was winding down, Misha and Sasha arrived with their gift. Anos and Rimuru were shocked and moved to tears when they saw what it was. A brand new, spacious house, complete with a nursery already set up for the twins. Anos and Rimuru hugged their friends tightly, thanking them for their incredible generosity. They were overwhelmed with emotion, feeling blessed beyond words to have such amazing friends in their lives. As the party came to an end, Anos and Rimuru sat together, holding hands and feeling grateful for everything they had been given. They knew that their journey as parents would be filled with challenges and uncertainties, but they also knew that they had an incredible support system to help them every step of the way. As Anos entered the final trimester of his pregnancy, he found himself feeling increasingly uncomfortable. His body was growing larger by the day, and he was carrying two babies instead of one, which made everything feel twice as hard. The soreness in his back and feet was especially intense, and he found himself hobbling around the house like an old man. He knew he needed to do something about it, so he went to his human parents for help. His mother was sympathetic and understanding, having gone through the same thing herself when she was pregnant with Anos. She offered him advice and comfort, teasing him gently about the karma of his own pregnancy. But then, she offered him a solution to his aches and pains, massages. She explained to Rimuru that he needed to become a master at giving massages to Anos, so he could relax and unwind, and undo any knots or cramps in his back. Rimuru was a little nervous at first, but he was also eager to help his beloved partner. He watched carefully as Anos's mother showed him how to use his hands to ease the tension in Anos's muscles, how to apply just the right amount of pressure, and how to move his fingers in circles to undo knots. Anos sighed with relief as Rimuru worked on his back, feeling the soreness and tension melt away under his skilled hands. He closed his eyes and let himself relax, feeling grateful for the love and care that Rimuru was showing him. As the days passed, Rimuru became more and more adept at giving massages to Anos. He even started to enjoy it, feeling a sense of pride and satisfaction as he helped his partner feel better. And as the due date for the twins drew nearer, Anos found himself feeling more and more grateful for Rimuru's loving touch. He knew that he would need it more than ever in the days and weeks to come, as he prepared to bring two precious new lives into the world. As Anos reached the eighth month of his pregnancy, he started to experience false contractions. At first, he was alarmed and worried that the babies were coming early, but his mother reassured him that it was just a normal part of the process. Anos and Rimuru were staying with Anos's parents, who were a great source of comfort and support during this time. Anos's mother offered him some last-minute advice about how to tell the difference between false contractions and the real thing. She explained that false contractions, also known as Braxton Hicks contractions, were a common occurrence in pregnancy. They were usually mild and irregular, and didn't last very long. 
In contrast, real contractions would be more intense, more regular, and would come closer together over time. Annos's mother also taught him how to breathe during labor, which would help him manage the pain and stay calm. She instructed him to take deep breaths in through his nose, and then exhale slowly through his mouth. Annos was grateful for the advice, and felt more prepared for the big day. However, he knew that he still had a few more weeks to go before the twins were due to arrive. As fate would have it, a surprise blizzard rolled in, making it impossible to drive anywhere. Anos and Rimuru found themselves snowed in with Anos's parents, which was both a blessing and a curse. On the one hand, they were safe and warm inside, with plenty of food and company to keep them occupied. On the other hand, Anos was feeling more and more uncomfortable as the days went by, and the false contractions were getting more frequent. Despite the discomfort, Anos tried to stay calm and focused. He practiced his breathing techniques, and reminded himself that the twins would arrive when they were ready. And, with the love and support of his partner and his parents, he knew that he could get through anything. As the blizzard rages on, Anos enters his ninth month of pregnancy and the contractions start to become more frequent and intense. Despite the pain, Anos tries to stay calm and breathe through the contractions, hoping that the storm will clear up soon and they can get to the hospital. However, the blizzard shows no signs of slowing down. Anos is in bed when he experiences his first real contraction. He tries to stay as still as possible, not wanting to wake up his parents, but the pain is too much to bear. His mother hears him groaning and wakes up to check on him. She encourages him to get some sleep while he can, knowing that he will need all the energy he can get for what's to come. Unfortunately, sleep does not come easy for Anos as the contractions continue to get stronger and closer together. He tries to breathe through the pain, but it's becoming increasingly difficult. He can feel his body tensing up with each contraction, and he knows that he's getting closer to giving birth. It's been eight hours since Anos's first real contraction, and his parents are starting to worry. Suddenly, they hear a small pop, and the bed is completely soaked. Anos's water has broken, and they know that they need to get him to the hospital as soon as possible. However, the blizzard is still raging outside, and it's impossible to drive in. They try to call for an ambulance, but the lines are down. Anos is breathing through more contractions, barely able to keep from screaming. His father encourages him to let out any screams that he needs to, reminding him that no one expects him to be quiet during this. As the contractions grow stronger and closer together, Anos begins to feel a burning sensation deep within him. He can't help but scream out in pain, his body shaking with each wave of the contraction. Rimuru and Anos's parents do their best to comfort him, but they know that there is little they can do to ease his pain. Anos's mother takes charge, reminding him to breathe through the pain and coaching him through each contraction. She gently massages his back, trying to soothe him as much as possible. As the first baby's head crowned, Anos screamed out in pain, feeling a burning sensation that he couldn't describe. The midwife urged him to push, and after a few more contractions, the baby's head emerged fully. Anos cried out in relief as the rest of the baby's body slipped out, leaving Anos feeling like he had been torn in two. But the midwife had no time to rest. As she worked to clear the first baby's airway, Anos suddenly felt another contraction building, and he knew what that meant. He tried to warn the midwife, but before he could say anything, he felt a sharp pain in his pelvis, and he knew that the second baby was coming feet first. Anos panicked, knowing that a breech birth was dangerous and difficult, but there was nothing he could do. He pushed with all his might, screaming out in pain as the baby's feet emerged first, followed by the rest of the body. Anos felt like he was being ripped apart, but he kept pushing until the baby was finally out. The midwife quickly cleared the second baby's airway, and Anos collapsed back onto the bed, utterly exhausted. He could barely keep his eyes open as he listened to the cries of his newborn son and daughter. Finally, the midwife placed the babies in Anos's arms, and he looked down at them in wonder, feeling an overwhelming sense of love and protectiveness. As the storm continued to rage outside, Anos and Rimuru settled in for a long night of feeding and cuddling their new babies. Grateful to have each other and their family to support them through the trials of parenthood. After the delivery of the twins, Anos continues to experience contractions as his body works to expel the afterbirths. His mother, who has experience in childbirth, helps him with the delivery of the afterbirths, coaching him through the process and ensuring that he is comfortable and safe. Anos is grateful for his mother's help, and he takes a few moments to rest and bond with his newborn twins. He marvels at their tiny fingers and toes, their soft skin, and the way they seem to recognize his voice. 
As he holds his babies, Anos feels a rush of love and protectiveness, knowing that he will do anything to keep them safe and happy. He looks up at Rimuru, who is standing by his side, and smiles, grateful for his support and love throughout the pregnancy and delivery. With the afterbirths delivered and Anos and the babies doing well, the family settles in for some much-needed rest. Enjoying the quiet moments together as they begin their new lives as parents of twins.